So if you are a fan of incense perfumes, boy, do I have a treat for you today. This is actually one of the first niche fragrances I ever tried. And this is going back to like 2011. I think the fragrance was released in 2009, so shortly thereafter. Well, this fragrance here by Parfum d'Empire is called Wazamba. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my review of Wazamba by Parfum d'Empire, and I tell you all about this fragrance and what makes it such an amazing incense-based fragrance, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon, and of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's review. So back in 2011, 2012, I remember going on a website online and I bought a bunch of samples, Lair du Desert Marocain by Tower Perfumes, Comme des Garçons Eau de Parfum, and this was one of them. And I remember smelling it and just completely falling in love with it and thinking to myself, wow, this is an amazing incense-based fragrance. And it just went a long time without me ever acquiring a bottle until now. So I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're interested in purchasing this fragrance, you may pick it up at fragrancebuy.ca. All of the links are going to be down below. It is a great website to use if you're looking for discounted designer and niche fragrances, really fast shipping, excellent customer service. And here we have the incense fragrance to put a cap to all incense fragrances. Well, maybe that's a little bit too strong of a statement because there are so many great incense fragrances out there. Of course, there's Comme des Garçons. They have an entire incense series with my favorite being Avignon. There's also Puritas by Electimus London. But this fragrance is inspired by a West African musical instrument, which is used during very important ceremonies. And you'll notice that a lot of the incense ingredients and a lot of the various ingredients in this actually do come from the continent of Africa. So it has a lot of resinous notes. It has Somalian incense, Kenyan myrrh, Ethiopian apopinax, which is sweet myrrh, Indian sandalwood, well, that's a different continent, and Moroccan cypress. So you see it being warm, incensey, ambery, resinous, green, maybe a little woodsy at the same time as well. And it's funny, I was looking it up online and online, it actually has like labdanum and plum and apple. So there's a lot of ingredients listed online that are not necessarily printed on this box. In any case, I'm gonna be letting you know what I detect with my own nose. So I'm excited to get on with this video. Let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice about this fragrance is that overdose of incense. And I get a lot of that. I guess it's the Somalian incense that's in here because it just says incense. So is it olibanum, AKA frankincense? But I do get a lot of frankincense from this. And the reason I say that is because frankincense for me and for many other people has a lemony pine smell. And whenever I smell it, I can immediately detect it. And there's a lot of olibanum in this fragrance. I detect a lot of frankincense. Now, of course, secondary to that would probably be the Apopinax, which is also known as sweet myrrh. And that also has a bit of a sweetness to it, but it's very balsamic, very resinous in its approach. And I was looking online and there is this note of labdanum. Now, labdanum can be a little bit sweet as well because it possesses a vanillic overtone. So I'm not entirely sure what to believe. Am I getting more labdanum? Am I getting more apopinax? But all I can say is that there's certainly a really nice combination of all of those ingredients. Of course, another really well-known apopinax perfume is Jubilation 25 by Amouage. And that one also opens up very warm and resinous and ambery. Although that fragrance has a blackberry note, this has plum and apple, according to what I read online. And it does have something a little bit sweet in here, not fruity per se, not tart either. 
And I think the reason why I'm kind of reluctant to say that it's fruity is because I feel like the perfume is dominated by all of these incense ingredients and there's so many. So it's quite a diverse composition, very multifaceted, but it has this very sort of tranquil and resonant quality about it. So it's very grounding, very meditative, and I personally love that about this fragrance. Now, smelling it again after not having smelled it for a few years, immediately brought me back to 2011, 2012, which is when I initially tried this fragrance and I fell in love with it. And you know, you close your eyes, you smell it, and you just imagine that, you know, you are transported to the continent of Africa and you're surrounded by all this beautiful wildlife and beautiful plants and greenery. And it certainly possesses that effect. And so I really enjoyed wearing this one over the past couple of weeks since I've had it in my possession. And I gotta be honest as well, it's still quite cold out there. This is the perfect time to be wearing it. So I foresee myself wearing it over the next few months too. But this is definitely a dressed up kind of a fragrance. But here's the thing, because it's so tranquil and meditative, it's something that I would also like to wear casually. Say I'm at home and there's quite a bit of work that needs to get done and I just need to put myself in the right headspace and I need to have a bit of zen about me and my atmosphere, this is definitely the type of fragrance that I would personally spray on that is going to sort of evoke or kind of jar that type of a feel. And so I personally love Wazamba by Parfum d'Empire. Not as simple of an incense fragrance, if you will, as Avignon. And then of course, Puritas goes a little bit more green and that's a fragrance from Electimus but this one is very well-rounded. It has that sweetness about it that is presumably coming from that plum and apple combination, but the cypress in here is very earthy, very green, and also very grounding, and the longevity of this fragrance is superb. So I'm a huge fan of Wazamba by Parfum d'Empire. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, it's fairly unique. It's moderately unique, I would say. I mean, given the time when it came out, you know, it did actually come out before many other incense-based fragrances. And of course, another popular frankincense fragrance is Cardinal by Healy. But given that fact, it does have a lot of other ingredients and elements that contribute to its uniqueness. So it's definitely unique. In terms of the smell though, it's a little bit challenging. So if you're not a fan of incense or fragrances that lean slightly smoky, yeah, this is one that you gotta stay away from. But if you're a fan of incense, you want something that's a little bit more enigmatic, mysterious, something that has a bit more pizzazz to it, not your typical freshy, then this is definitely one to check out. Especially if any of those, you know, um, African inspired and African based ingredients really appeal to you. Uh, the Apopanax and the Olibanum, very well done in that regard. Longevity on this thing is 10 hours amazing longevity. And of course, all of these incense ingredients in the Cypress really contribute to that. These are all base heavy ingredients. In terms of the projection, it was great for the first hour and a half of application. It radiated probably about an arm's length, not beyond that. And it didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that six to six and a half hour mark. So please bear that in mind. In terms of versatility, I think this one can be worn dressed up dressed down. It will probably appeal to somebody who's a little bit older just because I can see the incense being a little bit more on the daring side of things. And this is perfectly unisex in my opinion. Incense is a shared ingredient, something that everybody can enjoy. Presentation on this one is really nice too. And the atomizer has a lot of power behind it. As you can see, it is, I guess it's pressurized. It feels pressurized. Um, the cap snug fit. My final verdict on this fragrance is if you're a fan of incense fragrances, if you love fragrances like Avignon or Cardinal by Healy, you have to try Wazamba by Parfum d'Empire. I think it's a great fragrance and I don't know what took so long for me to get this one in my collection because I've had many opportunities to acquire it and I passed them all up, I guess in light of more recent releases, which I felt would have done better on the channel or my subscribers were more interested in because when you think about it, this fragrance is about 13 years old, right? So in any case, amazing scent. If you're interested in picking it up, you may do so at fragranceby.ca. They currently have it for a great price. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider supporting to the channel or supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Make sure to hit that bell notification, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.